Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to download the Karei mod on Pokemon Infinite Fusion for your Steam Deck. Now you might be wondering, what is this mod? This mod drastically improves your experience for Pokemon Infinite Fusion. You can see that it allows you to have different options like gambling to make your Pokemon shiny, having different options for shiny previews and different colors of shinies, you're able to have different types of wild encounters like double and triple battles, even exporting out and importing Pokemon so that if you have a challenge with your friend, you're able to start with the same set of Pokemon if you like. So this provides a lot of, lot of new qualities for Pokemon Infinite Fusion, and I definitely recommend this mod. Now, to install it, you will need five things, and I will go through these one by one, but you will basically need to be part of the Karei Discord and also the Pokemon Infinite Fusion Discord if you want the latest sprites for this game. So the first thing you want to download is the Mediafire link for the Karei mod. If you click on this link, it'll take you to the uh, Mediafire link. So click on the three dots here and click download, and that'll download the first thing. The second thing we want to download is the KIF installer here by Hungry Pickle. Go ahead and click this in Discord, hit continue to download, and you are good. Next thing you want to do is go over to the Pokemon Infinite Fusion Discord, go to the Downloads channel, and click on the October Sprite Pack because we want the latest Sprite Pack. Right now it has the August or September Sprite Pack for the Karei mod, so we just want to update it to the October. Now that we have those three things set up, the last two things we want to set up are from the Discover Store on your Steam Deck. So open up the Discover Store, and in the top left here, type in QT. And we will want to install Proton Up QT. So go ahead and click on the install button. Right now it says remove for me because I already have this installed. Once it's installed, go ahead and click on here and it'll open up the section here and hit launch. This will launch open the QT interface. Next, what we want to do is we want to click add version. And add version will definitely um, let you know what is the latest version of Proton. It'll populate by itself and go ahead and click install. You'll know this is done because there's gonna be a progression bar here that'll load up and it'll pop up here in your list of compatibility tools. So once that is done, let's go ahead and click X. The next thing we're gonna install is Q4 Wine. So on the top left, type in Q4 and you will see Q4 Wine. S same as last time, go ahead and click on the install button here. It says remove because I have it installed but install this and that's it. Go ahead and close this and we have everything installed that we need for this installation. Next, we're gonna have to extract these three zips. So go ahead into your folder, click downloads to make sure you're in the download section, right click this and hit extract and hit extract here out of the text subfolder. Do the same exact thing for these other zip files. I'm not actually doing it because I already have these extracted. So I just wanted to let you know the process of doing that. And we will have these three folders. What we want to do is open up KIF installer first, highlight these two messages, right click, hit copy, and let's go into the preloaded folder here, right click and hit paste. Go back to your downloads folder and we're going to go to the sprite pack. Go ahead, right click custom battlers, hit copy, go back into your preloaded folder, Go to the graphics folder, right click and paste here. Next, you wanna hit apply all and hit right into. And this is just gonna override any of the sprites that you might've had that they would, they would have updated with the October sprite pack. And then now we are almost done. The next thing I wanna do and what I like to do is I like moving this folder here into my desktop just because normally that's where all my games are for Steam Deck. So let's move it here. It's not requirement or anything like that. I just prefer it, my folders being here. And the next thing we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and apply the KIF mod. So let's go to the installer update.batch file, right click, hit open with, hit other applications, go to the system section, scroll down and you will see Q4 wine, which we just installed and hit okay. Next, we're gonna go ahead and hit okay. And it's gonna start running this batch file to start installing the KIF mod on top of the Pokemon Infinite Fusion files. This will just depend on the internet speed and your stability of your internet for the installation. This usually takes like two or three minutes, but like I said, it just depends on your installation speed for your internet. So just give this some time and I'll come back. 
Once it is done, you will get this installation thank you message here at the bottom, but you will notice there are two errors. We're going to ignore these for now because of the nature of running this on Steam Deck, you'll get these two errors and it's actually fine because you see right here it says updating files 100% done and that's the important part here. What this will do because of these errors is that it will delete this install or update batch file. So if there ever is a new update for KIF, what you want to do is you want to go back to your downloads, go to the KIF installer and just copy this file only. You don't need this one anymore because it's still in that folder. It's just this file that was deleted during this process. So go back into your game files, right click and hit paste and you will have that install or update batch file again. So if there ever is an update for KIF, rerun this. All right. Now next is we're going to add this to our Steam library. So go ahead and right click on game-preloaded.exe because this is the preloaded version of the game that we want to add. And I'll go ahead and add it to Steam. And if it doesn't open by default, go ahead and right click the Steam icon here in the bottom right and hit library. Now on the left side here, it'll be all the different categories of your games. I have a bunch, so um, I'm going to scroll down to the bottom and you will see game hyphen preloaded. I'm gonna hit play here and I'm expecting it to fail because I just want this to be the latest game that's shown up on my library once I go back into gaming mode later. But let's go ahead and update a couple of things just to make it look nicer. Click on the manage button here and then go to properties. From here you can change the name. So I'm gonna go ahead and change the name to KIF and I'm also just gonna give it a couple of uh, sprites, uh, not sprites, a uh, couple of images, just so that it looks a little bit nicer. So I can go ahead and right click here, set custom background. And all these images I got from steamgriddb.com. You can get them from anywhere you want and apply them anywhere you want. That's just where I got mine. I'm gonna go up here to library, hit home. I'm gonna scroll down, recent games, you'll see KIF, right click this, hit manage, hit set custom artwork. And there we go. It looks a lot nicer this way. And that is all the setup I need in desktop mode. So let's go ahead and switch over to gaming mode where we're gonna finish off the installation. Now that we're in gaming mode, you will notice KIF on your home screen. Go ahead and click the start button, go down to properties. Let's go ahead and enable compatibility and it'll automatically populate with the latest version of Proton that we installed. Go ahead and click B to get back to the home page, and click A and A again so we can go ahead and open up KIF. Now to preface, to preface this, uh, Game Preload preloads all of the sprites that you downloaded before the game starts and that's what gives it the in-game performance updates and optimizations that we want for Game Preloaded. So we will have three sets of black screens where it's kind of in the background trying to get all of these sprites. So you will normally get two. The third right now is because we just updated to the October sprite pack. So you are going to have to be patient while this, while you're basically stuck in black screen. Don't be worried. The black screen will go away. It just depends on your version of your Steam Deck. But just sit here and just wait and let it do its thing. After a couple minutes, you will get this green screen, which is perfectly fine. That's what we want to see. And then afterwards, you will get another set of black screens. So just wait for it again. Like I mentioned, just be patient um, and it'll keep going through. As you can see here, that's that black screen that I mentioned. Go ahead and wait another couple of minutes. After a couple of minutes, you'll get the intro video and you will see the Pokemon Infinite Fusion intro and it'll say here, the Curry Infinite Fusion mod. And that's exactly what we wanna see. Now, once you are on this screen, go ahead and press A and it'll take you to that last black screen that I mentioned. This black screen is usually not there. This is only there when you are importing sprites and we just imported a bunch of sprites from the October sprite pack. This one actually takes the longest out of all of the other black screens. Um, and I mentioned this is just a one-time thing because you imported sprites. So on this one, please wait up to about five, 10 minutes. It'll be a black screen here. Just come back for it. All right, after waiting about five minutes, you will get this text here saying that it imported a bunch of sprites. So go ahead and keep on pressing A and it'll ask you what you want to do. Go ahead and make sure that you hit the replace all old sprites with the new ones. When you do this, the game will act like it's frozen. So just give it some time because it is going through and replacing old sprites. And you will see here that it did replace 8,000 different sprites. 
Once you get through this, you will see this pop up and the only way to get through it is by tapping on your screen. And that's it. You will be on the start menu here with your game. You'll also notice that it is the modded version because it has the two options for the mods. Alright, so if you have any other questions about the game, let me know in the comments below. I am also in the tech support channel in the Pokemon Infinite Fusion server, so if you want to grab me there and talk to me there, go ahead. But I'm also very active in the comments below, and make sure to subscribe because I'm try still trying to hit my 1k goal for um, just YouTube in general. So go ahead and help me out if everything worked out for you guys. Talk to you later.